ओके सो स्टूडेंट्स फॉर क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर आई हैव स्पेशली क्रिएटेड अ थ्री डी सॉलिड इन ऑटो कैट फॉर ऑल ऑफ यू सो दैट यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड द ऑब्जेक्ट एंड द प्रोजेक्शन एंड द सेक्शनल फ्रंट व्यू इन अ मच बेटर फैशन एज फार ए सेक्शनल फ्रंट व्यू इज कंसर्न वी आर गोइंग टू एज्यूम दैट अ कटिंग प्लेन इज पासिंग राइट थ्रू दी सेंटर ऑफ द सॉलिड जस्ट लाइक दिस एंड इन दिस केस यू हैव टू क्रिएट द फ्रंट व्यू the top view and side view how can we accomplish all of these things and much more coming up in the session so let me just take you to the question paper and let us read all the things which have been given this is for 16 marks okay figure shows the pictorial view of an object using first angle method of projection draw sectional front view along symmetry line in the x direction top view left hand side view and also give the dimensions i won't be giving the dimensions okay it is for one mark only you guys can put the dimensions later on okay in your own manual drawings right thoda sa mujhe kaam karne se bachna hai ab okay you guys can do that okay i think uh, it would be better if we i i can just show you how the object is and please note that you are going to cut the solid or assume the cutting plane passing through this line of symmetry okay now take a look at this demonstration and enjoy here we go take a look this is how the object looks like in the 3d environment now what we wish to do is we wish to bring in a cutting plane or a section plane okay which is going to pass through the line of symmetry that i just showed you just a few seconds back take it behind in this direction you'll see this is what you need to do uh, let me just okay and this from here you are going to make this sectional front view let me remove this uh, section plane so that you can visualize it properly right just a sec keep watching hide it and this is precisely going to be your final sectional front view okay so don't worry here we go let's start the problem uh the first thing is you you basically need to work out how much the length maximum length maximum width and maximum height is going to be so if you watch this is x direction is for the front this is for the left hand side view and that's for the uh this is for the top view this is for the front view this is for the left and side view i hope you are okay with this right the maximum length is 120 the maximum width is this much that is 8080 whereas the height is 20 plus this 60 which is 80 plus this much radius which is 30 so 20 plus 60 plus 30 will give the value as 110 so please note that the length is 120 the width is 80 the height is 110 let us start by making this box you can take this distance as 2 cm and this distance also as 2 cm okay that's how length height uh, uh, uh. <clears throat> once again length height length width length is so it is 120 height is so it is uh, 110 to be precise 120 and this is 80 i hope i have made myself absolutely clear now what you need to do is uh connect the front and top view the boxes okay produce line rotate at 140 45 degrees only produce in the upward direction produce lines from the box of the front view to the right okay so this is the location for the front view that's for the top view that's for the left hand side view right okay okay sir how do we proceed now what we can do is uh let me first of all mark this center sir from the top if you take a look at this arrangement from the left hand side from the top it is 30 mm below radius is 30 so right at the center along the center line somewhere 30 mm below you can mark this center this is 30 so secondly if you want to figure out the distance from the extreme left this is half of 80 which is 
okay i hope using this information all of you can locate this center once this is done let's get down to business let's say this is the point we are concerned this is in the pictorial representation now this is the same point in the orthographic representation how high sir this is 20 let me zoom in okay sir 20 above 15 right 35 above 25 right okay just do this 20 above 15 right 35 above 25 right and then down by 35 take it to the right to this portion down to the left finish so this much portion is what we've created just now done okay sir what's next <clears throat> the next profile to create is uh what do we do what do we do okay uh this these two points right the distance between them is 20 so at a distance from here at a distance of 20 you simply need to mark a point and then you can go as high as this point over here and then join right what you've just made let me make this very clear then the arc would look like a straight line straight line then the arc again both of them would look like a straight line and then this outline that is the outline is this clear to everyone okay done sir uh, now what now let us figure out all the hidden features or the hidden edges and we are going to represent them using the dashed lines we are watching it right now from the front isn't it yes sir so there is this hidden feature or hidden edge 120 mm sir but what is this height sir this height is 10 millimeters so at a height of 10 millimeters simply mark a point and then you can make this dashed line done okay sir uh, the other thing to note is that there is an edge over here which is hidden behind this face behind this face so you've got to give it some respect with respect to this edge over here you go down by 15 millimeters there is this hidden edge 15 millimeters downwards there is this hidden edge so here we go this distance happens to be 1515 done sir okay once we're done with this the hole drilled has a thickness or has a depth you can say of 20 millimeters so if you watch carefully this circle is having a diameter of 30 that means the radius is 15 15 above and 15 below you are going to make this dashed line 15 above 15 below done sir front view is almost done now what we are interested in is the, is the sectional front view okay if you, if you really want to understand the sectional front view this is the portion which will be cut okay then you go down then this way then this way then this way this is the portion you will see in the section this is the portion you, you are going to see in the section this way right and this is going to be how the section looks like we are going to work it out right now i am in the process of or right now i have finished the process of creating the front view right i just want to show you how the hidden lines would look like and once you section the solid how the hidden lines disappear or rather i should say how the hidden lines are replaced by solid lines this is the transition that i wish to show showcase to all of you so front view is done done sir talking about the top view in the top view sir we'll see this yes we'll see this this and this in the form of a straight line okay in the same fashion you can understand the this portion also here we go so darken it secondly if you watch this edge over here the projection of this these three edges will be this isn't it at a distance of 15 from the left so at a distance of 15 from the left draw this done um how far this is 25 so at a distance of again 25 draw done sir this is 20 come forward by 20 come forward by 20 20 and then from here again 20 do it done what's left sir this is left this profile this arc portion would look like a simple straight line where are you watching it from sir from the top this arc although it is an arc it looks like an arc from the side view but when you look at it from the top it would look like a straight edge 
okay this is what i am trying to say so keep your mini drafter aligned along this line and then use your drafter this distance and this distance this is going to be uh how much is it 10 this also is 10 how is it 10 sir the answer is very simple if you watch the overall width of the object is 80 out of which this much is 60 how is it 60 sir this is 30 radius 30 radius 60 so this is 10 is 70 plus 10 becomes 80 now you understand okay so you need to offset from here at a distance of 10 millimeters you can make this simple i hope this is simple to all of you okay um yeah 10 millimeters away you can make this line and then join it right this by the way 10 10 20 20 this way this way 20 i hope you got the concept what about the hidden features well we are going to work it out take a look at a distance of this is 20 this is 20 20 plus 40 is 60 plus 20 is 80 okay so at a distance of 20 there is this hidden feature there is this hidden feature from both the ends from here also and from here also what's next the next thing is you are watching it from the top again this is what you'll see okay 15 here and 15 here so from this center line 15 above pandra upar and 15 downwards you are going to make this hidden feature in the form of dashed lines obviously is there anything else left in the top view i don't think so now we can get going with the side view this is the left hand side okay we are watching it from the left hand side let's start from over here and this is the point that i made on the pictorial drawing same point in the orthographic drawing okay 20 80 20 20 10 40 10 finish 20 80 20 20 10 40 10 20 done <laughs> take a look at this point here and then this point here and now what you need to do is you need to give this point some height a height equivalent to 35 millimeters so give it some height then to the right travel a distance of 20 to the left travel a distance of 20 again just do it then come down by 15 millimeters come down by 15 millimeters and then join okay side view is also almost done uh, take a look at the center what is the diameter of the circle sir it is uh, 30 so the radius is going to be 15 center with a radius of 15 in your compass draw this circle done kitne ka 15 ka samajh gaya okay again using the same center you've got to make this semi circle the radius is 30 again don't worry keep one leg pencil leg of your compass here and then rotate okay ah, what did i just do ah, keep one leg of your compass here the pencil leg over here and then make the semi circle now you see uh, you need to make this edge but only this much portion of the edge is going to be visible directly okay this much portion of the edge is going to be visible directly this much portion the portion beneath it right is going to be hidden by this face okay so this much portion you are going to keep it i mean if this is going to be hidden this is visible so the visible portion is a solid line here it is solid line and the hidden portion is a dashed line i hope all of you have got this point now as far as the sectioning is concerned let me tell you we are assuming that the section plane is passing through this symmetrical line this way and let me make this this way this way this way here we go and here we go so this is how the section would look if i wish to color it this is the part where you need to do the hatching hmm? here this is the hole okay no intersection between the solid and the cutting glue this is what you need to do and it would finally look like this wonderful okay please observe how these hidden lines have been replaced 
with solid lines beautiful hidden lines replaced by solid lines and that's the beauty of sectioning you get to see the internal hidden details of an object right this was the transition that i wanted to showcase okay uh, um this is done dimensioning is up to you right do it mark at least five to six dimensions you're good good to go and um, if you want to see the realistic orthographic projection okay because i had already created a 3d model it would look something like this okay so yeah that's it that's the entire problem solution and uh, this is how you need to approach it 15 minutes and 41 seconds yeah i think your time is absolutely worth it okay